Hello, and welcome to this short video highlighting another capability of using the Compress software. Did you know in Compress we can generate a final report in a matter of seconds by, by simply just clicking one button? Today I'm going to show you how we can generate a final report using this heat exchanger example you see in front of you, and I'm also going to show you some other tips and tricks we have along the way to help customize the report, options you have within the reporting, things like that. So let's just get right to it. Let's generate a final report. So once the model is finished, you simply just come up and there's a shortcut button here and you click on the green F3 button, F3 standing for the shortcut on your keyboard, and a final report will be generated for you. And as you can see, final report is here. So by default, I have this set up to display is what we call the HTML report. It's a wonderful uh, report to view the calculations in. But if you need to print this off, email a file to anybody, we have PDF capabilities as well. You simply click on the PDF icon here at the top, or you can have it set as a default to generate as a PDF. Now let's start off with the cover page. So as you can see here, here we have a snapshot of the heat exchanger that I modeled and some information, so our, my company name and some other information. This entire form is customizable. So by coming up to the report icon, I can select the cover page settings here. And you can fill this out, you can display a custom image. So if you'd like your company logo to show up versus a, a snapshot of the vessel, you can do that. And you can customize any of the information here as well. Now additionally, we also give you an HTML input box right here for additional text. This is very useful if you want to display a table or um, just want to lay things out a bit differently. If you have some basic HTML programming knowledge, you can simply put insert it in here and this will show up on the cover page. And as always, we can save this as a default so that it's generated with every single report. Now let's just go through the reports quickly. So on the left here, you'll see there's going to be summary reports up at the top. Uh, deficiency summary, that's very handy if this is for a new design. Uh, there'll be things like the pressure summary, radiography summary, hydro hydrostatic test, items like that. Now I'll click on the pressure summary, and as you can see, nice, neat, clean tables. All of the components are listed here with things like your design pressure, temperature, your MAWP, your MDMTs, things like that for easy review. Then each component gets its own detailed analysis with all the calculations laid out in front of you. So if you're ever curious where a value comes from, things like that, you can simply go to the report and review it that way. Now being that this is a heat exchanger, let's go look at the tube sheet calculations quickly. So I'll come down to the bottom and I'll click on my ASME tube sheet report. Now if you guys have done tube sheets before or UHX calculations, you know these calculations can get quite involved quite quickly uh, with the amount of requirements we have. So as you can kind of see, um, you can see the scroll bar here on the right, this report is going to get very long very quickly when I start looking at different design conditions with all the load cases, things like that. So in Compress, we've made it easy. We, we have what we call a collapsible report. So if you click on the heading up here, we will collapse the entire report like so. This makes it very easy for you to navigate through the individual steps in the UHX rules. Additionally, if you click on the heading again, you'll expand them. And you can actually just individually collapse them as well just by clicking on the headings of each of the sections. But again, if you want to look at, you know, we're looking at the calculations of the operating condition. I want to look at step nine. Simply click on the heading and all of the formulas we use. And down below, all the values that we use to calculate the end results are listed out here as well. Then switching back to the model as a breeze, all you do is you click on the report icon, like so, and you're back at the model, and you can make any changes you may need to, things like that. Now another option we have is what we call minimal reports. So oftentimes uh, customers or clients, they don't want to see an entire report, they just want to see summary reports, things like that. So what you can do is come up to the action menu and select the set mode options right here. And we'll come down to our reporting, and you can set up what we call minimal reports. So for example, a nozzle might typically have five pages of calculations uh, uh, associated with it. If you check the option to just report a minimal report, we'll just maybe report one page with summary tables there for you. If your client has questions, you know, where does this value come from? You can always come and uncheck this and provide the full report to them as well. It also cuts down on paper if you're printing off the PDF version as well. 
I'll cancel that. Now, the other option we have, too, is to customize the report. Um, if you don't want to have all the summary reports or you only want to have the summary reports, you can actually customize the PDF report. So if you come up to the PDF icon and just click on the little arrow beside it, you can select the option Customize PDF Report. And what this will allow you to do is pull over the reports that you want to have pulled over. So, for example, if you only want to see the summary reports, simply select them or remove them and you can bring them over. And when you click the Generate or Create PDF button, that PDF will be created with only the reports that you've told it to go into it as well. So again, generating a final report is, a, is simply clicking a button. There's no need to copy and paste reports from other programs um, and, and make a final report or compile it. Generating a final detailed calculation report is just a one-click button by using Compress. So I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to learn more about our reporting or you'd like to see an online demonstration, please email sales at codeware.com or give us a call at 941 927 2670.